Central Florida student is getting results in our schools by inspiring her peers. The number of women joining science, technology, and math-related fields is growing, but engineering is still heavily male-dominated. News Six's Julie Broughton shows us how an Obito team is working to change the game. The role of an engineer girl ambassador is to design and develop and implement a project in her local community that will encourage younger girls to think about engineering and engineering careers and give them the practical experience in engineering design. For Oviedo High School sophomore Ashika Nag, her love of science and engineering began in elementary school competing in science fairs. Now, as an engineer girl ambassador, she's developing an engineering club for the Boys and Girls Club of Central Florida. Essentially just give them access to material that they might not have had the opportunity to access before and just to open their eyes to the world of STEM and show them the different engineering careers that are out there for them. Only 13% of the engineers are women. And this really struck a chord with me because there's such a huge gender imbalance and so many girls are out there and they're not being um, encouraged to pursue STEM careers simply because of the different gender roles that are in play. And the club will give the girls practical experiencing in engineering, something Nog says helped get her hooked on STEM during a team project. We were working really hard in our project and we were hitting a lot of um, setbacks because some things weren't working, our car was breaking down. And when I first saw the car move across the room successfully, that's when I realized that all of my hard work had finally paid off. I would say that you don't really learn to love something until you've actually tried it out. Just hearing about it isn't enough to make someone passionate about engineering, but having the opportunity to do it yourself can be the thing that really gets you into it. Julie Broughton, Getting Results, News 6. That's really great advice because did you know you loved being a news anchor until you did it? Uh, yeah, I did. Uh, I, I knew I'd like it. Of course. It was always okay. a hand, but no, but she's right. You do it, you get some confidence, yeah. you love it. And Good then stuff. you become Matt Austin. There you go. Well, hopefully Please. you become something better than that. <laughs>